Hi everyone, my name is Miranda Loy and I'm getting ready to do my last speech of the semester and this is going to be my persuasive speech and I've decided to do my persuasive speech on the benefits of swimming and how swimming can be beneficial in more ways than you might think. I've grown up with swimming. I mean I've been swimming since I was maybe three or four years old and swimming kind of runs in my family. My mom coaches swim both high school and the summer team all year round since I was maybe 10-ish. And my sister has been swimming in both summer team, summer team for as long as I can remember. And since she started high school, she's been swimming on the high school team too, so she swims all year round. And... I don't swim that much anymore like I used to because I'm busy with other things, but still swimming can be a great benefit to those who need a form of exercise but maybe aren't ready for such you know, demanding sports as soccer or basketball or baseball or football or whatever the case might be. So that's why swimming is special to me. Now let me show you how swimming can be beneficial to you. Now, swimming is very, very non-impact. When I say non-impact, that means that anyone from 2 to 102 can swim. Anybody can swim if they know if they can kick their feet and keep their head above the water. And I should know because since I was little, my mom has had her youngest age group on the swim team during the summer is maybe three to four year olds. And they will compete in events, and they will kick their little legs down the lane, and they'll use water for weeks and floaties to keep them up. But, you know, they're swimming. And then after the swim practice is over in the mornings, they will have a senior citizen swim class. So that some little local senior citizens around town can get out of the house and get a little exercise when they might not have the chance to otherwise. And I also know that because my grandma does that class sometimes. See, swimming really does run in my family. <laughs> and second, it can strengthen and elongate your muscles. And that might not seem like a lot, but when you're elongating your muscles, you're making your muscles stronger. Your muscles will be able to eventually bear more weight, and you'll be able to go farther and faster than you did before. Which brings me to the point of swimming can also increase your endurance. And endurance is basically how much you can go before your body just kind of says, you know what, that's enough, you know, you're done. But endurance is basically when you can go farther and faster before your body kind of gives you that shut off point that maybe enough is enough. And swimming down and back really does increase your endurance and makes you stronger. And according to WebMD, it works all parts of your body. It says that swimming recruits and uses all major muscle groups, including the shoulder, the back, the abdomen, the legs, the hips, and the glutes. I don't really know of any other sport that can do all that can recruit all major body parts and use them in harmony the way that swimming does. And since my mom is such a big fan of swimming, she'll be the first to tell you how beneficial swimming can be. Now since I've gone into a little bit of detail about the exercise portion, let me go into detail and talk to a bit about benefits you might not expect. There are actually major health benefits to swimming as well. Now, I mean, most people, when you think of swimming, you think of, you know, it's a great form of exercise and this and that, but it's actually got health benefits that people might not know about. The CDC reports that health, that swimming can actually help with chronic diseases, especially in older people. It says that for people with arthritis and improved use of mental joints without worsening symptoms, People with rheumatoid arthritis have more health improvements about after participating in hydrotherapy. And it also improves the use of affected joints and decreases pain from osteoporosis. So, I mean, even if you're not suffering from all these diseases, swimming is a good way to stay in shape and keep your body healthy so that maybe this won't happen to you way on down the line. Now, I'm not saying that swimming will prevent osteoporosis and arthritis and all those things. I'm just saying that having a healthier lifestyle might 
prevent the onset of the severity of the symptoms later on down the road when you're a little older. And surprisingly, what I found when I went to look on the internet for information is that it actually has mental benefits, which kind of surprised me a little bit. But the CDC says that swimming improves mood, mood and releases anxiety. It's also a good form of stress relief. And I found out that it could actually be beneficial to uh, expectant mothers and their own more children. Because, I mean, if you're relaxed and you're calm and you're not so anxious about everything, you know, your mood is going to be up here instead of down here. And with the thing about expectant mothers is that the health of the mother will affect the health of the baby. So when the mother is calm and relaxed and isn't so stressed out, then chances are the baby will be relaxed and calm as well. So I can see where they get that. And I mean, who hasn't relaxed? Floating on a raft in the middle of the pool, just not having a care in the world. You know, I've done, actually done that on more than one occasion. It's actually very relaxing. And it actually benefits children who have asthma or might not be able to play other sports because their lungs just won't let them. And I found a study that talked about how swimming with children who have asthma could actually decrease the severity of the symptoms because it doesn't take so much on the lungs. It's not so taxing on the body and the lungs that the child will actually be able to have a sport that they can do and something they can do to be in shape and stay healthy when otherwise their body just won't let them play basketball or football or soccer or whatever the case might be. Now on to weight loss, which is kind of an obvious benefit of swimming, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. Weight loss can actually, in swimming, can actually burn calories. And according to an internet website, which is called weightlossresources.co.uk, it reports that depending on your exertion level and your weight, you can actually burn up to 90 to 550 calories in a half hour session. I mean, can you burn that many calories on a treadmill? and not do so much damage to your joints and your muscles. And like I said, it can improve strength and flexibility and endurance. And with endurance, the heart and the lungs will be able to get stronger and the body will be able to go on much longer, which in turn will lead back to increased weight loss. Now, swimming can be very beneficial in more ways than one. It, the benefits can extend to mental health, physical health, exercise, weight loss, whatever the case might be. And you don't have to be in tip-top shape to be a swimmer. You know, you can just start slow, ease into it a little bit, and just have a good time with it. That's all that really matters, isn't it? Just going on out and having fun. This has been Miranda Lloyd from my Persuasive Speech, and I say thank you, everybody.